welcome to this video on creating a personal plan in Microsoft Planner. So you don't have to add Planner to a group anymore. You can create your own personal plan to manage your own projects or individual things you want to keep separate from everyone else. You can at a later date add these to a group and share these with people. But if you want to create something that's just you only have visibility at this point in time, this is a really great little function. So I'm going to do it from Microsoft Teams. I'm in Microsoft Teams here and I need to navigate to the planner. Now, if you haven't got it pinned on the left hand side, you might need to use the free dots. I don't see planner on my left hand side. So let me go to my free dots. And if I've used it before, it's going to probably show up, which it does. It's planner there. If not, you've got the search bar at the top. Please use that and just type in planner and you'll navigate to the planner option. And when it is there, just a quick top here, when it is there on the left hand side, if you click on there, then you can pin it and do other things with Planner as well. So in your Planner, it holds all your tasks, plans, from to do's, all that great stuff. And what I want to do is create a new plan. Now, at the moment, my left hand bar is not visible. So if you see towards the top left hand corner there, you've got this purple box with a line down it and you've got an arrow pointing to the right. And this is where I want to click on to open up the menu on the left hand side. And you can see that I can now see all of my different planner options. And at the bottom, I've got new plan and that's what I want to select to create my new private plan or personal plan. And when I create that new plan, I've got basic. So it's just a standard planner. There's nothing in there. I can start from scratch and I can build it out exactly how I want it to be. If I do scroll down, you see there's a few templates that you can use as well. So if there's any that works for you or select all templates at the bottom, then select the one that works. Otherwise, I'm just going to select a basic and build it out what works best for me. So I can see I've got creating a basic plan from scratch. I'm going to do I'm going to do a career development plan. I can see I can add it to my pinned plans here so I can see that again that's not going to show with anyone it's just going to mean I've got better visibility of it and you can also see I can add it to a group now if I want to but it is optional so I don't have to do that and leaving that blank will mean that it's a personal plan that only I can see at the moment but remember like I said earlier you can always share this at a later date by adding it to a group or sharing it in different teams channels and all sorts of stuff so don't worry you can share it afterwards. I'm going to click on create and that's going to create my plan for me. You can see I've got my career development plan and it's just opened up in the standard window. So I can now go ahead and work really nicely with that. But only I have visibility of it. And you can see that in the top right hand corner, it's got a little padlock there. And if I hover over that, it tells me it's private to me. So I know that this is only visible to me at the moment. But remember, I can go change that if I need to. And if I come away from that and I need to find it, if I just go into my plans, you'll see that is in there and then I can work with that however I want. And you can see if I just close down that left hand menu, it's not shared with anyone at the moment. So I can go in and change that if I want or I can keep that just my personal plan, which is a really great bit of functionality. You can have it as a list in there. You can have it as a Kanban board, just like you would any other planner and track those tasks that are personal to you, but in one place rather than having individual tasks. So it might be something that will help you with your productivity and help you work on individual or private projects that you don't want to share with anyone else at the moment. So something to have a go at. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.